Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series at Road America for the NASCAR Heat 4 Random Race Edition. We're going to be running our Mountain Dew colors. Don't worry, I'll change the NASCAR Heat logo to something. I don't know what that will be, but it'll be something. Mm, or just leave it blank. Alright, here we go. Alright, time for my TCB impression as Chase Elliott's on the pole. Alright, girls. Parker Kligerman's been struggling all weekend. Ty Dillon didn't look like themselves. Chase Elliott's on the pole. Alright, boys and girls, here we are at Rude America. I'm ready to have some nice little bratwurst and cheese curds. Can I get a good old Wisconsin party? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> And the green flag is out for the first ever cup race at Road America! Yep, 11 laps in this stage. Plenty of fuel. 50 laps around this place. 200 miles. This should be fun. This will be one hell of a race. Yep, Chase Elliott and I are leading, heading into Station 5. I didn't expect Chase Elliott to be a good damn road racer, but shit, man. Yep, 40 cars. Gotta have 11 perfect good laps in this stage. I know my strength and weakness. Chase Elliott always runs well on the road courses, especially Watkins Glen, so I wouldn't count him out here at Road America, because he's also ran here before. None of these cup regulars besides myself, I don't think I've ever raced at Road America before, especially in any series, whether it's the Xfinity car, the cup car, or the trucks. Which we're also going to have another random race with the trucks here at Road America. Oh, we're in for a fun one. Watch me, sh watch me shove Nally Decker off the track. Damn, Chase is gone. He's already built up a little over a second lead on myself. Ryan Blaney looks like a good contender. So we're about to complete lap number one of this race. And we have only ten laps to go. Yeah, eleven laps don't seem as long as you think it is here on a road course. But, I mean, fifty laps isn't that much... But it's a very long... Also, this is a drafting course. <clears throat> Ten laps to go here in the opening stage. Eric Jones should be a front runner. Kyle Larson didn't qualify that well. He qualified towards mid-pack. I don't, even, I don't think I'm going to even beat Chase Elliott, especially in this race, because Elliott's ran here multiple times in the Xfinity car. Some of these cup regulars have run here before in the past in the Xfinity series. Kevin Harvick's never run here. This is almost like running at Kentucky, if you know what I mean. I mean, like I said, 11 laps is not much in this stage. Jesus, Ryan Blaney's already caught me. Well, if we start having a battle with... I think the problem with me is every time I go through the carousel, I'm always in third gear. My oil temperature. Why is it up to 250? Good God. Unless I'm off the track, then that would be my only place. Why? It's like, I don't understand why I'm getting hot, and I'm not even in the grass. 
Unless I got some grass on the grill. I don't know, but... Anywho. Well, if I let Brian Blaney go, he can get all... I can get all the grass off. Off the nose of the car. Damn, Chase is gone. I, I looked at my temp and I was like, it's hot. It's like, why the fuck is it hot? I mean... I haven't even hit the grass yet, and the, and tell me my engine's too warm. Not sure why, unless I'm going too high on the revs. Well, even though I'm not shifting the car. 209.838, qualifying, I ran a 209.9, so I picked up at least a tenth of a second than what I ran in qualifying earlier. Right, I just got done doing qualifying, we're doing the race, so... Be three laps down, eight laps to go. Chase Elliott and I look like we have the dominant two cars in this race. The best Toyota is Truex, and the best Ford is Ryan Blaney. Surprising, Blaney's got 2018, so... I wouldn't count out Ryan Blaney. Not sure why I'm going from third to second, going through midway through the carousel. Unless I have to lift in case I run wide. See right there. It's like my temp is going high. I don't understand why at that part of the track it shouldn't be that high. I don't unless I'm in the grass. And I'm gonna have to clean off the grass on the first pit stop. Need to stop running off the track. Cause I can't believe I'm having like temperature problems this early in the race. We might take some tape off the car, put four tires and fuel on this. Yep, eight laps to go in the opening stage. Chase has got a three second lead on me. This is nuts. I mean, like I said, I haven't even gotten in the grass. And my engine temperature is warm. Probably take some tape off the engine. Get all that grass off the... Not sure why, but I don't, I don't know. I don't understand why the engine should... Engine shouldn't be that warm. Especially on lap four. I'm just gonna take it easy. How are my tires? Tires I can stay at. I can stay at. Probably. Probably just take fuel to stay out on tires. That's probably why I'm losing time, is I'm checking up. Okay, that time I stayed in third, because I never left it. Yeah, the oil t okay, the oil temperature's coming down. I'm, I'm not pulling away from Ryan Blaney, it's just... I'm having a little engine problem early in the race. Might still take some tape off the engine, see if that can get some fresh air. Because I'll be on the front row for the restart. The pair Depending if my pit crew decides to say, oh no, let's drop the damn ball. God damn, I had a lift. That's gonna kill my fucking straight. Here comes fucking Blaney. Okay, that was my person. That was my. Bet. Well, that's actually the slowest lap. 209.598. That's actually my best lap. Yeah, because I'm starting to lose ground to Blaney, but we have a two second lead on Truex and then a nine second lead on Harvick. Damn, Chase has got a fast race car. 
He probably brought his Watkins Glen car here, and he's just kicking his kicking my ass. You know the other surprising part? We have not had an incident, surprisingly. That's a surprise. Normally, I cause a damn incident, but surprisingly, we've gone clean and green. That's a that's a first. Normally, you'd be seeing me wrecking people, but hell no, we're finally getting into a rhythm here. Now, I should be worried about Blaney, and now Truex is starting to reel me in. Oh, fantastic. Damn, Chase is already pulling away. Yeah, surprisingly, we've gone clean and green. I think everybody's a little surprised about that. I was expecting this race to be a breakfast. That has not been the case. Imagine if we go the first two stages without a wreck. That would be a surprise. Not just to you guys, but also me. If I don't win the race, I'll be happy with a good run. Because I qualified in the top 10. I think we should get a top 10 today. I can guarantee you a top 10 result would be fantastic. And since NASCAR is back this weekend, I thought we'd do a NASCAR race at Road America just for the hell of it. It's probably because I'm lacking straight line speed. That's it. Driving car number 26 because, hey, it matches my car number. Although, I need to update my my channel thingy. I'll probably do that soon. But damn, this Chase and I... And guess what? What's funny is that Chase Ellie and I are having the same sponsors. That's crazy. I should do a midnight scheme. Just to base off Chase Elliott's car. Of course, I had Mountain Dew. What Would have been cool if Chase Elliott ran the Mountain Dew car and we went 1-2. five laps to go in the stage and surprisingly to everybody's surprise on this channel we have not had a caution surprisingly this is reminding me of the inaugural xfinity race back in 2010 where we had no cautions and then boom late in the race we had a caution I think if everybody would be happy with a Chase Elliott win, then I know that would be good. Even though Cody Smart will probably eject people for excessive celebration. Same with Taylor, because I know how those two will act. But to my surprise, we have not had a yell up, oh, and somebody's in the pits. And who would that be, you ask? I couldn't tell. Oh, that's that's probably a Ford. Blaney and Truex are staying with me. Couldn't tell who that was on pit road until we get the leaderboard going. God, look at the field spread out. My word. I don't know. This could be a caution-free race excluding the stages, guys. Driver I have not seen at the front is Matt DiBenedetto. wonder if he's got a problem or something, unless he's waiting until the later stages of Stage 3 to come out of nowhere and surprise us all. Of course, I've been in second place since the start of the race. I qualified six. I'm currently in second, so... Trailing Chase Elliott by five seconds. 
I don't think I have a good card to ba to beat Chase Elliott, but I have a good card to probably get a top five, which I'll take a top five any at any stage of this race. And what I'm doing to uh, Ryan Blaney is I'm actually letting him fall in the clutches of Truex. I was starting to lose ground on Ch on uh, yeah I'm starting to lose ground on Chase Elliott, but I'm starting to pull away from Blaney and Truex because they're about to have a battle for third, and the more they and if they start battling, I'm gonna start pulling away. Couldn't tell who that was on pit road. Oh, that's uh, Corey LaJoy. That's who was on pit road. I think an unscheduled stop. I wonder if he might have broke something. They're probably going to take it to the garage. Looks like Corey LaJoy's day is done. Very unfortunate. Running turn three a little wide, and I'm letting Blaney catch up. But we're starting to catch lap traffic. But we got three laps to go in this stage, and it's been all Chase Elliott. Oh, and I made a mistake in Station 5. That's not good. I'm letting Blaney catch up. That's not what I want to do. I think I got on the brakes late, and what I did... I just messed up my rhythm, so here comes Blaney and Truex. They are starting to catch up. That's not good, but we're starting to come into lap traffic. This is a very long sweeper. And if you guys seen the Xfinity races at a... Road America, you should probably know that sweeper has been a really a could be a trouble spot. Uh, of course, Buffalo Wild Wings will always run here at Road America because they love coming to the wine and cheese to the cheese area, the state that that is huge on cheese and also huge on meat too. If, if Nathan Orman is watching this stream, or watching this premiere, he's going to be like, well, damn, Chase is pulling away. No duh, Chase is pulling away, because Chase has a better car than me. Three to go. Next time by, the pits will be closed. Looks like Corey LaJoy is out of the car. And since there's no damage on his car, he's going to probably just... I'll probably load that sucker up and head home. Now I gotta be very careful I don't make another mistake at Station 5. Because Blaney and Truex will be on my tail. Okay, that was a little bit better of a turn. Six seconds, Chase Elliott has the lead. Harvick, I don't think Harvick's in reach. But it's been all Chase Elliott here in this race. But now comes the question of pit stops. And it looks like Chase Elliott has already begun lapping cars. He just put... I think that's Ty Dillon. He just put a lap down. Ty Dillon would be eligible for the free pass should the caution come out, which we're expecting the yellow to come out in the next two laps because the pits will be closed with two laps to go. And it is Ty Dillon. Ty Dillon's getting the word... The blue flags are out for Ty Dillon. At least I get by Ty Dillon without much of a problem. I think Blaney and Truex will do the same. 
although they're getting held up. I got around Ty Dillon without much of a problem, so starting to pull away from Blaney. I think he's having troubles. Oh, looks like he's having troubles. Okay, now he's going to start finally getting around. Truex is trapped behind Blaney. And Chase Elliott's starting to lose some ground to me. I think he's getting held up. The more he continues to get held up, the more I'm going to come up there and start battling for possibly the lead of this race, if not the stage one. Oh, Chase Elliott is really held up. I think that's Cody Ware in the 52. Or is that Ryan Truex in the 71? I think that's Truex in the 71. Indeed it is. Oh, Truex is still being held up by... Um... What? Hold on. Indeed it was Truex. Now I'm getting held up by Truex. Okay, Ryan, I need bye, buddy. Now it's Joey Gacy had troubles getting by. Lost some time. Oh, Chase fouling for the lead. Oh, come on, Chase. I just got around Chase for the lead. Ooh, McDowell. Cutting it really close. Slap in stage one, and then I'll be right back. There's my first lap lead. See what my dad wants after this stage is over. Chase was struggling with traffic and I was starting to reel him in. I had a better time navigating traffic. Because I knew I couldn't beat Chase. Because Chase had a fast race car, but when we got to traffic I can start it I started reeling him in. I've already opened up to an almost 11 second lead. So I will probably take stage one in this Grand Prix of Road America. It looks like Cody Ware is the car that I'm getting ready to put a lap down, but he'll get the free pass. And there's the yellow. I will be right back.
Freer was like 50. Fronts were like 70 something percent. Rears were like 50, 50 or 55 ish. Alright, stage number two. Only nine laps, surprisingly. By the way, I forgot to mention, hello one person watching. As we have begun stage number two. Quick little nine lapper. I think we're, I think we are gonna have a 30 lap stage run because we're gonna only have like 10 laps of fuel. Plus, we'll take away three laps, so that's like 27 laps. Yeah, we're going to have to make another pit stop before the end of the race. And this is the first time I've been out in clean air when I got around Chase Elliott. So now we're going to see what Chase Elliott can do in traffic. Because he and I have been the dominant two cars in this race. Bowman moved up a couple of spots. Denny Hamlin, likewise. Some drivers just fumbled on that first pit stop. Hate that for Corey LaJoy. Now he's going to finish dead last. start pulling away got up almost to a second Chase Elliott had like a 1.1 second lead on me after the start some tape off the grill because I was starting to get a little hot. Because I was reporting that the, the temperatures were going up to 260 and I needed some tape off and it looks like the tape... I am in the grass. Tape did its wonders. Yeah. Now it's starting to cool. Now I got that clean air and now the Temperature is starting to go down. stay out. We'll stay out and then we'll try to pit early. I might
might try to dive in the pits and then top off the fuel run. Because if I top off, I can pit with 12 to go. I could be good to go to the end of the race. Because I end up... Because I was like a lap or so to the good. If I had a yellow, I would have had a Canadian tire. I mean, we have enough fuel to make it to the end of the stage. The question is, do we have enough fuel to make it to the end of the race on one more stop? Probably not. And if we get a caution, we're in for we're in for a fun one. Because everybody started pitting, and I stayed out because I I pulled the fuel gambler and it worked. Problem is, there's not like a place to do burnouts except possibly turn one if I win this race. Stage one, we went clean. This is going to be a clean stage number two. Yeah, some names. Yeah, I'm thinking to myself, where did, uh... Wow, where did Ryan Blaney go? Because he was up there... Up there battling with Truex. I'm guessing he had a slow pit stop or something like that. I mean, he had a good qualifying and all that. And that good qualifying effort just went to waste for him. Believe he's on. I can't believe he is struggling. Oh, somebody's going slow down the uh, coming into Canada corner. I can't tell who that is. I don't know if it's a. I don't know if it's. I don't know who it is. Until we figure out who's on pit road, we'll tell you. I mean, he's going slow. Looks like we're going to probably stay green. Because whoever that is is going to probably make it to pit road. Whatever that is, that's a tough break. Hopefully that's not Blaney because he was in third place before I had a pin and I just clipped the grass a little bit. Because Chase Elliott knew he's putting pressure on me, so I better take it easy. And whoever whoever's going slow has made it to Pit Road. Looks like probably done for the day. I don't know. I don't know who it is. And the person who was 31st got the free pass. Got back on the lead lap. It's like the person who was going slow has made it to pit road. So we're going to stay green. Looks like a tire issue. I see some skid marks, but... We're about to investigate who that person is. I couldn't tell from that. I think that was Austin Dillon. We'll look and see. I won't, won't double check to confirm it. God, some big names are just dropping like flies. Oh, and I just made a mistake. And that's going to allow Chase, not only Chase Elliott, but Martin Truex to start reeling me in. Let me do this real quick. So I can see who the two people watching. Before I forget. Alright, that's more like it. Like, it can't be Greg, because I know Greg's gone to bed. 
And like I said, whoever those two car I know Corey LaJoy is one of them. I couldn't see who the other one was. Well, man, we're starting to have a good battle towards the end of stage two. Sketch YSRN, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're enjoying a mock <laughs> random race competition at Road America. <laughs> Clever idea. I decided to do a Road America race with the cup cars. I mean, the cup cars are fun to run at this track. I can't wait to see what the trucks do at this track. <laughs> yes. I am, de I am definitely going to do cup cars at Iowa. I'm, I'm going to guarantee you the next random race I'm doing on YouTube will be the cup race at Iowa. <laughs> yeah, and if you're wondering how I got the lead, blame traffic. Because Chase Elliott had a big second lead. Then when we started getting in lap traffic towards the end of the stage, I started reeling him in. And I got around him going in the carousel, and I've been in the lead since. That's how I'm, That's why I took the lead, and that's why I'm starting to pull away. Oh, looks like we had a third car on Pit Road. Huh, who's that? Looking over here. Oh, looks like Ty Dillon just came to Pit Road. Looks like Ty Dillon's day just went from bad to worse. I know, right? Yeah. That's a, that's a great way for the AI just to hand me the lead. Like, hand it to me on a silver platter. <laughs> Problem is, I don't have straight line speed. The AI cars are pretty good down the straight lines. I'm good through the corners, but not through the straights. So I'll need to start working on trying to find some speed in this car. Nevertheless, I'm surprisingly, I'm beating two of the best at freaking, uh, two of the best from Watkins Glen in 2018, who put on one hell of a show, Chase Elliott and Martin Truex Jr. Alex Bowman, surprised to see him up there, because he wasn't in the top five in, the, in stage number one. Uh, I'm on a controller. Would have been nice if I was on a wheel, but I'm on a controller. Yeah, gearbox, by the way, is automatic, so I'm letting the car shift. I'm just, just use, I'm on the, I'm using the gas and the brake, and the steering wheel to turn, well, my controller to turn. God, imagine me going, flying there at like, what, 180 miles an hour before I have to brake for Canada Corner? God, if I had no assist on, fuck, I would, I would just blow my damn braking zone, shit. That would be in like, what, 13th, 14th? Damn, the left front is at 78, right front 91. I might take left side. Yeah, but I made one mistake, which was going to the station five, got on the brakes late. Ran a little while, almost got in the gravel. Got three laps to go in this stage. This is a 50 lap race, by the way. We had 11 laps in stage one. This one's nine, so that's what? Or no, let me think. We, plus, you take the three laps. Yeah, we should be almost halfway through this race. The rest of the distance are in stage three. Imagine me doing this 50 fucking laps straight. Shit. With no stage breaks. Right front is at 90, left left side tires at 76, right rear is 77, shit. I'm just abusing the damn left side tires, fuck me. Can't believe the right front has not... Right front is only at 90. Everything else is in the 70s, what the hell? Might need it, yeah, we'll probably change four tires. Cause you know what they say, change four tires every pit stop. Two tires won't do you any freaking good. I wish they would give me an option to change left side tires, that way you have fresh tires. But, I'm, but every pit stop I'm gonna do is four tires. Four tires. I have to take four tires. You know why? Cause four tires is better than two. 
I've done the Coke 600 100%. Ooh, and I just fucked up that corner. I've done I've done the Coke 600 100% on my channel on E3. The sucky part was the controller died going into turn one. Yeah, and I've I've done the 600 100%. On heat three, and it took like f four hours to do shit. Of course, I'll do I'll do the uh, Coke six hundred, but but first on the season deal next week we gotta go to Talladega, then we got Dover, and then Charlotte. <laughs> oh God, I'm not looking for the Charlotte, especially the six hundred with this rules package. I should point out two to go. We already got like what four cars out of this race now, and we're not even halfway through the race, and we already have four retirements. Corey LaJoy, I think Austin Dillon's out of the race. You know, one driver I've not seen in the top ten is Kyle Larson. I haven't tried Pro League qualifying. I haven't even done it in NASCAR League. Oh, and I think I kind of messed up a little bit through Station 5, but I'm trying to stay off the curbs as best as I can. Hell, what was funny in the uh, Xfinity race I did the other day was I did a 71 lap race in the Xfinity car, and everybody could make it on fuel, and I was one lap to the good, and I barely made it on fuel. I took a risk, and it paid off, and I was one lap to the good. If you want to tell me how I how I freaking won Canadian Tire off oh, fucking luck, I might win this damn race on fucking strategy. Shit. Hell, I've never won a race, never won a random race on fucking strategy. Yeah. What was funny is that I pitted twice in stage three because I had damage, and I still made made it to the end of the race without having to stop again. And I was like, well, damn, guys. Hey AI, you should take advantage of me, but no, I'm taking advantage of you. You cannot give me damn wins on fucking strategy. I might actually do it again. Looks like we're coming up to lap traffic pretty soon. If not, we'll probably come up to traffic in stage number three. Yeah, Ty Dillon's already gone a lap down, unless he's probably done for the day. He's probably said, fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> Like, do I really blame him? Because he's had a shit weekend. Plus, if anyone's wondering, any cars go into the rear? The answer was no. Nobody went to the rear. Which I was kind of a little surprised. Everybody passed Tech. Pre-race Tech. I was kind of surprised. Because I wish they would let you send the AI player to the rear if you got damage. Damn, bruh. It's like, it's like I go, it's like in the F1 2019, I did a triple overtake. I went from outside the points to inside the points. I was like, what the hell? I did a triple overtake. It was freaking weird. <laughs> yeah, wait till you see that premiere. You'll, you'll see what I mean when I did that triple overtake. It was bad act today. That's uh, Ryan Truex. Oh, we all know how Ryan Truex did to Chase Elliott now, don't we? Tell that if you watch stage one of this race. You'll see what I mean. Ah, oh, Ryan Truex. Alright, blue flag. Blue flag. Blue flag. Start waving that damn blue flag. Yep, Truex is, wow, 37. So we've had three retirements. And Truex lets me go without much of a problem. Oh, watch the AI just get held up. Idiots. See, look at that. Tell me that's a freaking joke. Yeah, the AI needs to do a better job passing lappers because this is ridiculous. Guess what? I just won back-to-back -back stages and I let every lap in this stage. Come on. Wow, you guys can't get around freaking Ryan Truex. Come on, man. You can't be joking. 
Alright, we'll take a stage win. Oh, Matt's bad it is, 7th. Jesus, Blaney fell the 9th. Damn, Larson 16th. Logano 24th. Alright. See you later. If you want to follow, subscribe to my channel, you can do so. If you haven't already. If you guys haven't done already. Let's see. All right. I'll go ahead and pit. Four tires. Yep. Remember, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you guys have not subscribed to my channel. But uh, thank you very much for the follow. As stage three is underway, and I'm going to do this. Three wide in the turn one like a boss. Three wide into turn one. Whoa! Oh, no, no, there's Truex. No, there's Chase. Truex hooked me, took Chase Elliott off the track, and there's the caution. Well, there's our first on-track incident. And look who came in the fray, Matt DiBenedetto. I had, I had, a. Uh, Matt to bed, or not Matt to bed, no. I had a, uh, I just had Truex cleared, but I couldn't clear him. Oh, and that really is going to take, probably take Chase Elliott out of contention. I don't know what that was all about, as, looks like we're going to have a duel between me and Matt to bed, Ditto. Oh, Matt just booted me out of the way. Ooh, can I get the crisscross on him? Matt DiBenedetto just booted me out of the way. Not, I didn't expect that. Oh, I made a mistake! Oh boy, DiBenedetto to the lead. Can I get the crisscross? And I did! And Oh, the Benedetto getting loose. Comes Kyle Bush out of nowhere. Great racing as we're now past the halfway mark. Now here comes the question. Will I pull a sneaky move and come in the pits with about... I don't know, 17, 16 to go? Because I might do it again with these AI guys. My goodness, what a race. Happened was, I was trying to get in front of Truex, and I thought I was clear, and I unfortunately wasn't clear. And and then he came over, and we ended up taking Chase Elliott off the road, and somehow I saved the car. Truex, unfortunately, was not lucky to save the car. I don't know how in the world I did. I got away with it. Yeah, I should have had damage, but surprisingly, I don't. <sighs> Talk about I barely got away with it. Oh, yellow. Oh, what's the yellow for? Wow, Truex went from the front row the 20th. Ouch. I'm not sure what the yellow is for. Possibly debris. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, you gotta love road racing here at Road America. First two stages, we've only had two yellows. All hell is broken loose at stage three. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta love road course racing. And that means if we get a yellow here, we're good to go to the end of the race. Oh my goodness, that was good racing. <laughs> Me and Matt DiBenedetto traded the lead back and forth. And I got the crisscross ready. My goodness. Oh man, that was exciting. <laughs> Damn. I feel bad for Chase Elliott because he had a car he could definitely would have won. And... I kind of got fucked because of Truex. And Truex, by the way, Karma Crutcher, be Karma came back to bite him in the ass. <laughs> and we got some key players at the front of the field, like Matt DiBenedetto, Kyle Bush is up there in the mix. 
Oh, Chase Elliott's back up there in fifth, so... Well, Chase was in the sand. I was kind of worried about all that gravel on the front of his car, and hopefully, hopefully he didn't have a lot of damage to the splitter and all that. Because I was kind of worried about that, but nice to see Alex Bowman, because he wasn't in the top five in the early going. I don't, I didn't know where he was running. I think it was outside the top ten after stage one. But damn, whatever happened to Blaney? Blaney got fucked. I mean, he royally got fucked. Because he was in the top three, top five in the beginning stages of this race, and, well, that went downhill. Yeah, but thank you guys, uh, again for the follow. Man, oh man. You didn't expect this race to get wild, but... <laughs> Oh my gosh, if you guys are not watching this premiere, shame on you. Because you just missed one hell of a fucking race. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to tell you that on the weekly show. First off, recapping Road America, if you watched the uh, premiere. Oh my gosh, you missed it. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to talk about how the hell I won Road America without almost getting wrecked. I think Truex has got damage. Because he went from the front row, as I just ran a little wide there. He just went from the front row to, like, 20th. I was like, well, damn, dude. You are just going the wrong way. Well, let's see here. If I pit now, I can make it to the end of the race without having to pit again. Because... Because we can go 19 laps. The fuel window is like 16 to 19 laps. That's our fuel window. As far as that's concerned. Yeah. By the way, for those of you on YouTube, if you are... If you're new to this channel and you like all these random races I'm doing, like, any ideas, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you guys like the content I put out, remember to give it a like. And remember to comment. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about this crazy-ass race we just had. Because, trust me, this race was freaking crazy. <laughs> Yeah, Kyle Busch is probably going to end up second. But good runs for Matt DiBenedetto. Oh boy, I can't wait to premiere this. <laughs> or if you're watching this premiere. Jesus Christ, you just missed one fucking good race. <laughs> Anything is possible. I mean, even if we get a yellow, we're definitely going to make it to the end of the race on fuel. Because fuel, I don't think, is going to be a problem. And you know what? We were going to the end of the race, and all bets were going to be off on that. Shit, I'm just pulling away from Kyle Busch. There's something wrong with Kyle Blish's car because he's just losing ground like hand over fist. Yeah, and I start at six and I'm probably gonna end up winning this race unless a yellow comes out and fucks everything up. I feel bad for Chase Elliott. Start on the pole, then got taken out by Truex and I, because yeah, I think Truex came in just turned into me because I was like straight. Ah, oh, fuck! I fucked up. Uh, I fucked up that corner. Don't do that, boils. GG. Up. Oh, somebody's got a problem going down uh, it's to station five because the pack. Plus the pack's already starting to spread out. Kyle Bush probably has a problem because I'm just pulling away. 
he either spun the tires or he didn't get a good restart or he's got a problem because there's no way I'd be pulling away like this. I mean, this is ridiculous. Unless he's got, unless he's got engine problems. Oh boy, that would be a shame for Kyle Busch. Of course, he got stage points. I don't know how in the world I did not get any damage out of that incident with Truex. Yeah, I think Truex. Oh, yellow. And that's what. Th and that was what I was talking about. Yeah, wow, Truex fell all the way to 33rd. Good lord. And looky here, I'm in traffic. That's oh, because some of these guys did not pit under that caution. Unless I got a pretty bad pit stop. I don't know why the fuck I'm back here in, in 27th. And yep, there's our first incident. Um, Truex has taken the lead. But here's my next, here comes the problem. Truex is gonna have to pit at some point in this race. I just pit it since I just wanna get the fuel. And there's damage already, fuck. Well, it's not a bad thing because Truex, like I said, has not pitted, so. Damn, Blaney's falling off the edge of the earth. Wow, look at that dive bomb I just did. Holy cow. I just went from 27th to 7th. And I was leading the race. Yeah, I think Truex probably pit it. Problem is, does he have enough fuel to make it to the end of the race? Because I just had a big lead. That was actually the caution I did not want to see, by the way. Now, don't wreck Bowman for Nair Voils. Just let him go. Let him go. There you go. Yeah, Kyle Busch was, like, having a problem because I had a six-second lead, and I went from first to 27th. Like, for really no reason. I don't know what that was all about, unless my pit crew decided to drop the balls. I just pushed Kyle Busch off the track. Problem is, these guys are going to have to pit at some stage in this race because Martin Truex Jr. did not pit under that caution. All of us that pitted except for Truex. Yeah, Truex is going to end up pretty badly if he's not careful. Question is, does Matt DiBenedetto have enough fuel to make it to the end of the race? I don't think Truex has got enough fuel to make it to the end. I think he's going to be about at least a lap to two laps short. And I led a good portion of this race. I even won the first two stages. Will I even win the third one? Well, if I lose this race, I'm going to blame the pit crew for that pit stop. But I know it's not over yet. It's not over until it's over. Because we've seen it before on road courses. Probably could have took fuel, only kept the track position, but I wanted the tires because tires was important in that in that strategy. But like I said, Truex did not pit under that caution, and I'm kind of bit concerned that Truex is going to have to going to have to pit at some stage. Because he's probably gambling either a win or 33rd at this rate that he's going. Hi, LG. 
J. <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> like that's a good comment, LJ. First comment you say in a while. Do I know you? <laughs> Oh uh, man, I don't know. This actually could be the battle for the win between Chase and I. Blasting Truex does not want to see as a yellow. Actually, I would like to see a yellow because... Because Truex would be aft. If he even stays out and tries to... Because I don't know if he saved enough fuel on, during under the pacing. Uh, who do I got for the clash? Ah, fuck, I ran wide. I need to check to see who I picked for the clash. Uh, I actually need to send Johnny a DM, because I need to, needed him to send me his cars. So that way I have it, because I still need to paint some cars. If I go to my predictions... Oh, I'll worry about mock later. Uh, I have Kurt Busch winning. That's who I have. Because Kurt Busch almost won the Clash last year. Because I'll just say this, once the green flag waves, our picks will be locked in. Yeah, I have Kurt Busch winning. Yeah, surprising. I think I surprised everybody. I took Kurt Busch as the driver to win. That kind of is a surprise. On the Pit Stop Show, I took Brad Keselowski. But surprising, I took Kurt Busch for my show. I think a lot of people are a little surprised that I took Kurt Busch. I think a lot of people don't know, but Kurt Busch has won the Clash before because of Denny Hamlin's misfortune. Yeah, my next question is, is does uh, De Benedetto have enough fuel to make it to the end of this race? Because if he doesn't, it's about to be between me and Chase Elliott. Yeah, I have Larson to stay away from as I just fucked up that corner of the kink. I've lost a lot of time. If Martin Truex Jr. wins, I will be pissed. Because I had the dominant car of the race, and I was back at as low as 27th for really no reason. Oh damn, the pack is starting to spread out. Truex, I don't see him making it to the end on fuel. Yeah, I've already written down your predictions. They're in my notepad. I've already on my phone, so I've already written it down. Yeah, I've written them down. Cause I, cause I have to write them down on my notepad. So I have everybody's predictions. So uh, when we uh, get ready to do reactions, uh, I'll just tell everybody. Uh, I'll just tell everybody. I'll just tell Elisha for the people in my show here what we pred predicted. And all that because like Elijah once the green flag waves and the pole sitter crosses the line the predictions are in and the picks are locked for good and then because I'll have to wait for post race inspection to see if tech is clear if tech is clear yeah it's nice to see go forth back yeah Speaking of nice, it would have been nice if I would have won this race, but fucking, but my pit crew had to drop the ball, especially when it mattered the most. And that's something I'll be really ticked if Truex wins this race. Problem is, I don't know if he's got enough fuel to make it to the end, because I didn't see him pit, and he's really starting to regret it. Oh my god, if Matt DiBenedetto wins, watch everybody in the comments section blow up my comments and say, Oh my god, Matt DiBenedetto won on a road course. Yeah, he won in a random race. Because fucking Truex fucked himself over on strategy. What do you expect? Now I'm starting to reel in chase and 
De Benedetto. Hell, Truex tried to wreck me under that, on that first incident. Oh, we had a wreck over here. Oh, we had a wreck over here. That's what the yellow was for. Okay. Didn't see who that involved. So we checked the replay. But I've led a good chunk of this race. Chase Elliott led a good part of this race from the start. So we've had only three different leaders. Truex, Elliott, and myself. Oh, fuck. I just fucked turn one. Had plenty of runoff area. If that was gravel, I would have been aft. I might do I might do that next year actually for fantasy. Starting to hear a little chattering. I'm starting to get a little vibration. I don't think Matt DiBenedetto pit it, if I if I remembered correctly. I don't know if he did pit or not. If he did pit, then this would actually be the battle for the win. If he didn't pit, Chase Elliott and I are battling for the win, actually. But the one thing I don't want to see, the one thing Truex does not want to see that I do want to see is a caution. Problem is, I would have damage to repair. Because I had to fight through traffic just to get back up here. Yeah, I think Truex is slow, and I think he's starting to run out of fuel. If he's not saving, then that's not doing Truex's hopes any favors. I think Truex kind of fucked himself. Because he should have pit it, because we were right in our window of making it to the end of the race. If he gets a caution in pits... Then I might pit actually, because if this race ends up going into like NASCAR overtime, then we're in for a hell of a finish at Road America. It's Truex is as the lap's starting to wind down. But does Truex have enough fuel to make it to the end? Or will he run out? I'm hoping he runs out. Because there is no way he's going to make it to the end of the race on a fuel. I know Orman's going to say Truex is leading the odds rig. Not so fast, Orman. Truex did not pit under the yellow. So, I wouldn't say Truex is the... Because I know Orman's going to say Truex rigged it. Not so fast. He did not pit. He's going to have to pit at some point in this race. Unless he gets a yellow, he's pretty much screwed himself out of this race. He's waiting to run out of fuel. Then this could be the battle for the lead between Matt DiBenedetto, Chase Elliott, and myself. So it's like not so fast, but if we get a yellow here, this changes everything. But would these guys have enough fuel to make it to the red, green, white checkers? I'm battling Chase Elliott for the third position, but can't get them past me. I'll probably wait till I get to the get to Canada corner. Stay right on Chase Elliott's his gearbox. I need to make this pass count right now if I want to win this race. Chase Elliott lets me go and I'm in P3. Now can I run down Matt DiBenedetto for possibly the win of this race? Oh, DiBenedetto ran a little wide. I ran it good. Six laps to go. I don't think Truex is going to make it on fuel. Almost 180 miles an hour. Stay 
still trying to catch Matt to Benedetto. Remember, lap traffic is coming at constant Chase Elliott earlier in the race. Will it cost Truex? Die bomb under Matt to Benedetto, and I got it for second place. And now it can set my sights on Truex. I don't know if he's got enough. He might run out. I may end up winning this race. Truex does not know I have enough fuel to make it and he might not. It's going to be close for Martin Truex Jr. I don't know if he's got enough. I do. This might cost Truex the win of the race. Five to go. Can Truex hold off foils? Or will I win in a comeback thriller here at Road America? I don't know if Truex has got enough. I think he might be two to three laps short. Five laps of racing to go at Road America. Will Cheating Truex win or will I win in a comeback? It's only 7.8, 7.9, but Truex may not have enough gas. I'm like, I'm like me chasing Lewis Hamilton down the F1 2017 crew mode in Singapore. Oh, I made a mistake, but Truex has got lap traffic. If a yellow comes out, it screws Truex mightily. Truex does not want to see a yellow, but I may get a yellow. I'm trying to reel him in, but he's got lap traffic coming. If Truex wins this race, it's big, but if he runs out, Chase Elliott and I are going to sell it here at Road America. The crowd's going wild here in Wisconsin. The NASCAR officials are kicking themselves in the groin. Boy, wouldn't that be nice to pull off a miracle. It's 8.2. Don't say it's over. Truex has got this because remember, Truex did not pit under that yellow. So he still could be short on gas. Four to go. And also, we're coming up to lap traffic because remember, lap traffic cost Chase Elliott the win or the lead of the race and also the stage win. Four to go. I don't know if Truex is going to make it. I think he's going to run out of gas and I'll probably take advantage. Come on, Voiles. You got this. Truex has got lap traffic coming up, so it may not be over. If you think he's pulling away, he better be on fumes right about now. 8.6. 8.3. Truex is getting held up. That is good news. That's what I want to see. All that, all Truex got around that lap. Are you cheater? 
but he's got heavy traffic coming up. Oh, and that gap's starting to come down. Eight seconds. Yep, now it's coming down because he's in heavy traffic. Martin Truex Jr. might lose this race. But it's back up to eight. Truex is cheating. NASCAR is happy, but they're going to get booed in a minute. I don't think Truex is going to make it. He might be concerned on fuel. Oh, but it's down to 6.3. It's coming down. Can I get around Ty Dillon without problems? Oh, there's a smoker. Oh, it's Truex. Ryan Truex just held up his brother. Here I come. Truex is out of the race. Ryan Truex. Oh, my goodness. And Truex is cheating away. Three to go. I took the lead. Oh my god, the crowd's going wild. Oh no, the yellow's out. No. We're going to overtime. Oh brother. We're going overtime. No. Not the yellow I wanted to see. Next time by, the white will be out. Damn, I just took the lead of the race and I didn't need to see that. I got around... I got around Truex and then the caution came out. Well, now Truex has got to hope I make a mistake. NASCAR is screaming at Truex to come on. But Chevy's rooting for me and NASCAR is booing. The NASCAR officials have been called to the holler for booing. Angry Truex is coming. Oh, Angry Truex is not going to win the race because he's very angry. If it was still the overtime, we just crossed the overtime line, the old overtime line. Damn, I just was getting ready to pull away and then the yellow came out. I think Chase might be battling for a second. If they'd start battling, it's it's game over. I got this in the bag. Oh, what an exciting finish here at Road America. We were actually getting ready for an exciting finish, but NASCAR said, no, we need it for yellow. If I take the white, that's it. That's the race. Coming to the white flag. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Can I win or will NASCAR cheat and tell Truex to pass me? We're about to find out. Can Cheat and Truex cheat? I got plenty of fuel to make it back. Oh, Cheat and Truex is cheating away. He's going to cheat, cheat, cheat because NASCAR's booing. I think Truex might have lost this race, but it's not over yet. Oh, here comes Cheating Truex. Cheating Truex is coming the back. Oh, can I hold off Truex? I 
I might hold off Truex and Chase Elliott. I think I might hold off Truex. Looks like I might get the win at Road America. Look at the crowd. NASCAR officials are going to get called to holler. They've been black flag for raging. Yes, boys and girls, I won Road America! Yes! Get job, TV! Give me a Road America winner! Get you some of that, bitches! Nice job, checker flag yours. Good job, mate. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Great day. Go down the station five and do for some vic. Let's do a victory lap. Thank you guys, thank you for your hard work. hit the wall but I don't give a shit <laughs> I got smug out of the engine but I don't give a crap
Alright, let's see what the yellows were for. Yeah, I could. Oh, yeah, I definitely took out Truex. Look at that, the replay. Okay, let's see what happened here with Logano. Oh, wow. Logano and Castle make contact. <laughs> yeah, I was coming to the front. I had fresher tires. Because look at this dive bomb I did. Good lord. I mean, I surprised Denny Hamlin out of nowhere. Damn, what was that yellow shit? Kyle Busch got loose. I probably fucked his tires up. That's when I put Eric Jones in the grass. Oh, this one brought out. Oh, this yellow didn't happen. Okay. The Benedetto spun sideways and collected Chase. Okay, so that's really nothing. Oh, wait. Alright, let's see who. Let's see the results. Wow, Busher got a top 10, so. Me, Truex, Chase Elliott. Matt DiBenedetto got fourth, Clint Boyer, Eric Jones, Kyle Busch, Alex Bowman, Ryan Blaney, Chris Busher, we didn't talk much. Brad Kizel, let's see, Harvick was 11th, Kizilowski 12th, Larson 13th, Suarez 14th, Tip 15th, Ryan Newman 16th, David Reagan 17th, Jimmy Johnson 18th, R Ricky Stenhouse 19th, Kurt Busch 20th. 21st was Daniel Hemrick, Eric Emerald 22nd, Joey Logano 23rd, ouch, Paul Menard 24th, William Byron 25th, Landon Castle 26th, Denny Hamlin 27th, looks like Hamlin had to make a late pit stop towards the end of the race, Bubba Wallace 28th, Tyler Reck 39th, or 29th, excuse me, Cody Ware was 30th, BJ McLeod was 31st, Brendan Gaughan 32nd, Paul Michael McDowell 33rd, he was the last car that finished the race on the lead lap. Parker Kligerman was the only car that finished a lap down. Joey Gase was two laps down. Ty Dillon, three laps down. And then four drivers out of the race. Ryan Truex, Ryan Priest, Austin Dillon, and Corey LaJoy. So that's it. That was the race at Road America. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was actually a good race. Can't wait to see what the trucks do. <laughs> only 32, so. Yeah. All right. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.